Swing trading became easy once I understood this trading strategy. So stay tuned now, make sure you watch to the end of this video because I'm gonna be showing you one of the most powerful swing trading strategies that you will ever see. It's the same strategy that I used to predict a 1000 pip drop on GBBJPY just recently. And I'm gonna be breaking down my thought process on how I predicted the huge drop on GBBJPY while also explaining the swing trading strategy and giving you some examples. The strategy is something very easy to understand and also to implement. So you can basically start using it immediately you're done with this video. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And let's get started. All right, so let me first start by breaking down the GBPJPY trade, the before and after, right? So let me just go through the thought process I had here before I looked at the trade. Now, this was the trade that I predicted here at these highs. So at these highs here, you can see these highs here. So I predicted that the market was gonna reverse from this area. And this went for about um, 1,000 pips, all right? To be exact, let's go from the highest high here to the low here that's about yeah that's about 1000 pips all right so if you go over to the four hour chart it's a little bit more clear all right so you can see this was the area that i was looking at to reverse from all right when i was doing when i uh, made the prediction the price was here and then it fell all the way down here so not to waste your time let me just show you the before and after gbp jpy um went back to these highs up here all right so this was the lowest point. So we have level one, we have level two, level three, and then one more push to the upside. Most likely we're gonna get a reversal on this pair coming into Monday, Tuesday. Uh, let's see on the four hour chart, what does this look like? Okay, so what is interesting here is, this is the highest point for the year. Now this is interesting, let me see if we can call this consolidation, all right and the breakouts let's see if we can get cells on this high if by monday morning they come back in here so that might be your end formation for this to happen this is the high of the year the highest point for the year all right which you just came to retest right now so let's just see how they're going to act and behave at this highest point all right that's going to determine if this is actually going to work now they could just easily continue up if they wanted to all right well let's just see if this is going to play out how exactly did i know that gbb jp was going to make this huge drop now the first reason why i knew that the drop was going to happen was because first of all my trading strategy is based off of trading m and w formations double tops double bottoms whatever you want to call them all right and if you look at this you can clearly see that this is a very very clear M formation or double top right so i saw this happening i saw this occurring now when trading m and w formations it's not just the formation it's not just the fact that they formed an m but they formed a w formation no the m and w formation has to form at specific areas on the charts if they form at the wrong areas then it's not really an m or it's not really an it's not really a valid m or w formation it has to form at the right areas now this m formation that just formed here was valid one because one of the reasons why it was valid was because this M formation formed at the high of the year. Now, M formations, the rule for trading M and W formations goes like this, all right? So when you're trading M and W formations, the M and W formation has to be either at the, la at the high of the day or at the low of the day. Now, I'm gonna just summarize it as the high or low. Now this high, has to be the high of the day, the high of the week, the high of the month, the high of the year, the high of the quarter. Same thing goes for the low, the low of the day, low of the week, low of the month, low of the year, low of the quarter. All right. You can also walk off of the low of the previous day, the low of the previous high. Sorry, the low of the previous day, the low of the previous week, the low of the previous um, month, the low of the previous year, the low of the previous quarter. The, just basically the lows and highs of those things, right? Not just a higher high, higher low, lower high, lower low. No, it doesn't work like that. It has to be at those highs or at those lows. All right. So now that is the rule that you have to go with when you're trading M and W formations. Now this M formation that formed here happened at the high of the year. If you go back to the daily time frame, you can. How do you know that it's the high of the year? All right. If you look at this, just look for when January 2023 started, and you see that January 2023 started. 
Before we move on, having a strategy is one thing, but having the capital to trade is what it all comes down to. Now, the Forex Funder, which is one of the best prop firms out there right now, are offering a 50% discount on their trading accounts from $10,000 all the way up to $1 million to trade. Now, they have different types of accounts. They have a one-step evaluation account, they have a two-step evaluation account, and they have a rapid evaluation account if you want to pass the account with speed. Now, also know that the discount will not last long. It will last for a limited time, so make sure you get access to the discounts. Not every day you get a 50% discount in order for you to get access to the discount simply use the link in my description of this video and use the discount code also written in the description of the video started um right about here right so this was the start of the year down here right and we can see that they have not made any high that was higher than this high this is the highest high for the year so that is that tells you that this is the high of the year right and if you notice something very interesting is that each time they form the high of the year they give this m and w formation before they reverse and before they eventually continue up right so i'm going to be showing you the three areas where they show the m and w formation now if you look at this just this this structure in here all the things that happen in here you can see there are three areas where they form the high and low of the year sorry where they form the high of the year all right now if you look at here this was the high of the year here was the high of the year and here was also the high of the year. So we have these three areas here that form the high of the year. And um, at these areas, what can you see? It's very clear. You can see this M formation here. You can see this M formation here. And then you can see this M formation here. All right, so each time they form the high of the year and they reverse, they give you an M formation before they reverse. And each of these reversal is about, this one was, the first one is about, um. 700 pips the second one is about 800 pips and then this last one which just happened recently is about 1000 pips all right if you go on the four hour charts you can see the m and w formations even um clearer right you can see this is the m formation here you can see the other m formation here and you can also see another m formation here all right so now with that established the M and W formations appear at the high of the day, low of the day, high of the week, low of the week, and and year and the month and beyond, right? So with that in mind, how exactly can we trade this? How exactly can we swing our trades? Because there are different ways of trading. You can either scalp, you can either day trade, or you can either swing. Now, when it comes to swinging, the highs and lows that you're going to be looking for is the high and low of the week and the previous week, the high and low of the month and the high and low of the year all right if you're looking at the high and low of the year then you, you're going to be expecting a larger move because it's going to be a larger end formation so it's going to be a very strong move if you're looking at the high and low of the week then it's going to last for about four three to five days all right the move is going to make it's going to last for about three, three to five days you're looking at the high of the month then you can expect like maybe one week of of swing trading all right so if you look at this the market was going to the upside right we have the previous high of the year here which price broke out of this area and then pulled back down all right so this was our new high of the year right here all right so the moment they broke up they broke out of this high and they entered back the fact that they entered back was a clue for me to know that this was going to go down all right so because what this basically means means and what it tells me is Market makers, smart money, just took out liquidity at this high and also trapped a lot of people trading breakouts at this high. And then their job after that is to reverse from that area, hit your stop loss and all that, all right? So now let me just explain the structure for you guys. And then I'm gonna be giving you a couple of examples of this pattern of this strategy. Now this works for M and W formations, although I just showed you only M formations. It also works for W formations and it works on any pair, whether you're trading gold, B crypto, uh, indices, commodities, anything you're trading, it works there. You're going to see the same patterns there. Now, let me explain the structure for you guys. Now, the structure is the same as I explained in my previous video. So if you've not watched my previous videos, make sure to check them out. All right. Now, since this is a swing trading strategy, it's the same structure, but I'm going to be adding, an, uh, I'm going to be showing you an extra, um, let's say confluence or an extra uh addition to the formation all right so let's say we have an uptrend right the market goes up and we have this uptrend that's been going up for a while 
right? And then all of a sudden we have a pullback, right? Let's see the market pulls back like this and then begins to consolidate. Now, one thing to also understand is since it's a swing trading strategy, then normally when you're do, when you're day trading, if you watch my day trading videos, you're gonna see that I highlight, I draw some vertical lines that highlights um, the start and end of each day, right? But since we're swing trading, we're not gonna be looking at the start and end of each day. Although we're gonna be looking for ATT, we are looking to enter on the 15 minute time frame or the one hour time frame. But the overall structure, you're gonna be looking at, instead of looking at the start and ending of each day, you're gonna be looking at the starting and ending of each week and also the starting and ending of each month. Now, let's say these vertical lines indicate the start and end of each month. So this is a, so we are the start and end of each, of each week, right? Or month, anyone you want to look at, depending on the structure you're looking at, all right? So from here to here will be the start and ending of one week. From here to here will be the start and ending of one week, all right? So this is one week, this is the second week, third week, fourth week, you get the gist. Now, let's see the market has been going up for a couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden we have the market pulls back, pulls back down to this area here. And it begins to consolidate for maybe one week, two weeks, whatever, all right? Then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna mark out this high. Now this high, can be the high of the month. All right, so let's say this, in this example, this is the high of the month, all right? You're looking to swing trade. This can also be the high of the year, but the yearly ones takes a lot of time to form and takes a couple of months. Or oh, yeah, it takes a couple of months to form. So let's just go to the one that appears more frequently, which is the monthly highs and lows, right? So this is gonna be the high of the month, right? So we've established that this is the high of the month here. So what we're basically going to be looking for is for the price, for the market to go back to this high and then either give you an A top like this or give you an M formation in addition to the larger M structure like this. So you're going to be looking for entries to sell in here, right? And if you sell this, you can swing trade this for at least one week, two weeks, or right? you can hold the trade depending on the you can just be trading your stop loss as you go about it. All right, so you'll be looking for entries at these highs. The same thing goes for the W formation. We have a downtrend, all right? The market has been going to the downside and then you, all of a sudden you have a pullback. The market begins to consolidate, all right? And then um, after a week or two, the price comes back to this area, which is gonna be our low of the month. All right, this is gonna be the low of the month, all right? So the market is going to do the same thing, reverse from that area or give you a double formation at that zone and then reverse from that area. Now, one thing to note that is very key to this is that these structures takes multiple weeks to form, right? It does not just happen in one week. It has to take at least two weeks to form. What I mean by that is that's why I drew these vertical lines for you. So when you have this pullback, this pullback has to happen in one week and then price has to come back to that zone the next week or next couple of weeks. You cannot, you're gonna look for the same structure inside one week if you're swing trading this, even though you're day trading, that's a day trading structure. If it's a weekly structure, it has to take multiple weeks. So basically it's called a multi-week structure. So it has to take at least two weeks to form. So the first leg comes one week, the second leg comes the second week or the third week or fourth week, no matter, depending on how far or how large the structure is. All right, so let me show you guys a couple of examples of this on the chart. And let me, so you can have a, a proper clear understanding of what I'm talking about. Here on GBBJPY, we have, apart from this one I just showed you guys, we have another example here. Remember I told you guys there were three M formations that, that appeared. So this is one M formation here. Now I have an indicator that highlights the start and end of each week. All right, so this is the indicator here. If we just turn it on, this is it. So if you want this indicator, you can just go on your indicator tab and search for weekend, Saturday, Sunday, All right? Weekend, Saturday, Sunday. So when you add it, it will show this um, vertical shades, but you can adjust the color however you choose. Now, um, let me just show you guys an example here. So what we have here, we have this uptrend. You can see that the market was trending to the upside, right? Trending to the upside, trending to the upside. Now, 
what happens all of a sudden we have this pullback here the market pulls back and then begins to consolidate here right now what do we expect before this happens before the market came back to that area what do we expect now if you look at this this is the high of the year right which is also the high of august so you can see this is august here if you look at where august started from august started from um august started from here and then let me make this uh a bit thicker all right august started here and then august ended what right about here all right august ended here so this is one month all right so inside this month you can see that this is the highest point of august this is the lowest point of august here which is also the high of the year up here now what do we see for those of you that have been in my channel for some time and know how i trade you can clearly see that structure that i always show you guys all right so we have our consolidation here all right price breaks to the downside gives you this w formation pulls to the upside gives you this m formation comes back down and begins to consolidate again then they're going to repeat the same cycle over and over again now we have this low here we have this high and we're looking for sales right so at this moment when you're looking at the chart like this before that before they head back to the highs you're going to be looking at this like this so you're going to draw out a box at this high and you can see that they begin to consolidate here so what you're going to do is you're going to wait for the market to go back to this high and show some rejection all right so once the market goes back to this high they mark the high like this now you see that they broke the high and they entered back in so if you are entering on the four hour chart you can simply sell this you can simply sell this here with your stop loss above if you're entering on the four hour chart and you can go for about a one to two one to three on this all right and this was about how many pips this was about uh 27 pips sorry um 270 pips all right that's if you're entering on the one hour, on the four hour charts now let's go to the one hour chart let's see if we can get an m formation or an a top entry so here on the one hour chart, what do we see? Price broke above, and then we can see some, we can see some rejections here. We can even see an M formation here. All right, you can see an M formation here like this. At these two highs, first leg, second leg. All right, and then the price shifts out of that area. Now on the four, on the one hour chart, there's not really an, there's not really a sniper entry here. It's still the same entry as in the four hour chart which is down here all right so you simply enter here on this put your stop loss above and then go for one to two one to three that would be a good um good um area to look for sales all right so this is a this is a very beautiful example of what i'm talking about so if you were to hold this for a couple of weeks you would have been able to catch this at least a one to five here all right if you targeted these lows as a take as a take profit area down here or maybe this area up here as an as a target basically so let me show you guys another example here we have one before example on bitcoin which i shared to my telegram uh explaining the structure a little bit if you look at this on the daily time frame what can you see where is the highest point on Bitcoin? The highest point Bitcoin has ever reached before. Let's just mark it out. So we have here, this is the highest point Bitcoin has ever reached. And then for the year 2023, all right? For the year 2022, no, for the year 2022, where is the lowest point Bitcoin reached? Now, if you look at 2022, you're gonna see that 2022 started right about, here and ended here all right so this is one entire entire year and then for 2021 2021 started around here all right and then we are currently in 2020 um 2023 about to go into 2024 so this is three years one year second year the third year all right now the highest point for bitcoin in 2021 bitcoin had to highs we have one here and the second one here now what happened at this highest point 
what can we see we can see still this end formation here and we can see this end formation here now if you go to um since 22 you can see the lowest points on bitcoin was down here you can see this w formation here all right at the same time also here you can see a small w formation there too but that's not really clean now the highest point for bitcoin was here um for the year 2022 this was the highest point you can see a tiny m formation that formed there now looking at this the same structure the same pattern that i explained to you guys we have this uptrend right at the highest point of the year we have this uptrend the market pulls back begins to consolidate in here goes back to that high i think even breaks the high a little bit enters back so if you have to sell this if you're swing if you're swing trading on a daily time frame if you have to sell this you sell here you stop us above and hold this down as long as you want all right but let's go over to the four hour chart let's see how this looks all right so we have this high here after the market has been going up for a couple of years for a couple of um days we have this high here what happens the market goes back to that high after this consolidation that happened all the way in here goes back to this high gives you this m formation right at the high here if you're going to enter this on the four hour charts you simply enter on this m formation here i'll take this for cells all right and then if you go to the low of the year down where is it down here if you have to enter buys on this this is very easy you can just take these buys on this w formation the next time they came back to these lows all right you can just simply take buys here and hold this as long as you want all right now let's go back to forex let me show you guys more examples on forex so here we are on your gbp let me show you guys the low of the year again the same structure the same pattern everything is the same where's the low of the year let me first highlight the starting of the year 2023 started somewhere right about here and then we are in we are still in 2023 right <laughs> so where's the lowest point for 2023 the lowest point for 2023 is down here all right now what happened down there what can we see down there now we can see that the market was going to the downside and then pulled back up all right pulled back up this is the lowest point for the year down here now the after all the rubbish that it did inside here the price eventually came back down here to these lows spiked the lows a little bit took out liquidity and made its huge move back up so if you were to enter this on the four hour charts you can simply enter what's going on you can simply enter around here your stoppers are the lows we held this for a couple of weeks also you can see that this is a multi-week structure now if you're looking at the month the month of july of june started right about here and ended oh no it's july sorry about that july started somewhere here and then ended somewhere here and then august started and then august ended somewhere here all right so what can what, what can we see here why am i highlighting the month for you so you can see the highs and lows of the month now i told you that the structure can work off of the highs and lows of the previous month right now we have july here the low of july which is also the low of the year price came back to that low by august the next month so here on august they're working off of the previous month low right also working off of the of the low of the year give you this m give you this w formation and then reverse from that area right and we can also see another example on gbp card now here on gbp card we can see that this is the highest point of the year i don't need to draw any lines because you can clearly see this is the highest point of the year 2023 all right At these highs we still have the same the same thing price pulls back after this uptrend price has been going up and all of a sudden pulls back consolidates for a couple of weeks goes back to this high 
give you an information there you can sell there stop loss goes above you can see this went down massively for about almost 1000 pips around about 900 pips on this and eventually they came a little bit close to the highs here but they did not really reach the highs all right and then the last example i'm going to be showing you guys is going to be on usdjpy now this one was also beautiful also looked like gbjpy all right so we have this uptrend the market has been going to the upside all right we have the high of the year here price came back to that high price came back to this high and then reverse of this high you can simply enter anywhere anywhere inside here would have been a good entry since you're swinging this so if you entered maybe you entered maybe down here stop loss goes above you'd have been able to hold this for about from one to six three three what is about 700 pips on this and this is about if you held this to the downside here that's about 900 pips all right so the same structure with gbp jpy the same crash or melting that happened so what i just explained in this video is just a surface level and time will not allow me to explain more but if you want more information on this strategy and you want to learn my day trading strategy then make sure you click this video on your screen and it's teach you just that also like the video and subscribe to the channel peace